<laughs> Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Guess what? Everyone's going back to school on YouTube. We're all adults and we're all going back to school because we are very relatable. So I thought we'd make some do-it-yourself Pop-Tarts because sometimes when you're going to school, you forget to eat breakfast because you're so rushed, you're so just amped to get to school, you're super excited to study and write in your new notebooks that you just forget to eat. So you could go to the store and buy Pop-Tarts, but those are really unhealthy. They're like processed and filled with hydrogenated oils, whatever those are, we don't, I don't know but we don't like them, they're bad, so we don't want them. So I thought we'd make um, a more healthy version of this. It's definitely not healthy, it's like a pie for your hand, but it's a healthier version, and it will make sure that you eat breakfast in the morning. You could also take these to work with you, but back to work is not trending, so we're, it's definitely not gonna be called that. Let's make this dish. Step one, oh, I don't actually know. Step one, we're gonna preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Da -da. The correct temperature. Celsius, schmelsius, <laughs> nerds. We're also gonna take a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. What? Why is this open? Who did this? You saw nothing. What do you call an essay on parchment? A parchment paper! School jokes! Next, we're gonna prepare the filling for our Pop-Tarts. And to do that, we're gonna take some frozen mixed berries, a heaping cup of them. Don't you skimp these berries. I suppose you could fill it with whatever you want, but I'm too scared to veer away from the recipe because I don't. I just wanna do a good job. And even though I prefer just raspberries, I'm too scared. I'm just scared right now. Once I learn this and I feel confident, maybe I'll switch to raspberries, but not now. Mm -mm, scared person. Keep, oh my God, that's a heaping two cups. <laughs> we fucked up already. Stop, that's very bad of you. Oh, why? So we're gonna take a medium saucepan and just dump these in there like that. Yes, thank you, all of you, all of you. And we're gonna heat them for five to eight minutes, stirring and mashing them with a spoon. Did I say medium heat? Medium heat, do it. Oh yeah, we're gonna put a lid on this while we're doing it. Yay. Also, if you wanna add sugar to it, you totally can, the recipe says you can. I didn't make this up. I'm gonna add sugar, cause I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> a teaspoon. Oh, maybe I should have waited till it got a little bit more watery before adding sugar. Oops! Is fruit compost supposed to smell like a campfire? Because if so, I'm doing a really good job. Very excited about this. Okay, I think our fruit compote is just about done. It looks like this. Very smoky. I turned the heat down. It's still smoky. I what its problem is. What's your problem? Turn the heat off. Which berry is the best berry in the fruit compote? I don't know. It's. You ruined my joke. You really ruined it. I'm gonna do it again. Which berry is the best berry in the fruit compote? I don't know. It's not a competition. <laughs> it is, and it's raspberry. I believe I got heckled by my stove. All right. Next, we're gonna make our pop tart crust. To do that, we're gonna take a large bowl and put in the following ingredients. One cup of whole wheat pastry flour and one cup of all-purpose flour. You can just use one flour if you want. We like to get fancy over here. Teachers love it when you bring them flowers. Oh yeah, you're not supposed to get flour this way. I forgot, I always over flour things because you're supposed to scoop it with a spoon or something. Anyway, it takes a long time the other way that you're supposed to do it. That's the correct way to do it. Do it that way. A pinch of salt. And then we're just gonna, that's it. Then we're just gonna stir those three ingredients together. I feel like we should be able to get this one. Now we're gonna cut in two thirds cups of cold butter with a pastry cutter or a, two knives or a knife or however, however you cut butter. I don't really know how, to, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna use a knife. A knife? What is a knife? Oh, no! You're not an ingredient, get out of here. Two thirds cup is a stick of butter and two tablespoons. FYI. Right, yeah. It's gonna get freaky now. Why cut class when you could just cut butter into breakfast and then make it to class? Smooth. I mean, you can cut class if you have butter things to do. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm on just a roll. What is my life? Leave me a comment, let me know. Is, is this right? Go oh, fuck. <laughs> it says you could use a pastry cutter or a fork. I'm literally using a spoon and a knife. Just everything except the right utensils. That's what I like to do. I'm just that kind of girl. I'm like, fork it. <laughs> what is my life? Leave it. Is this better? Are we doing a better job? I can't, I really can't tell. I really, really can't tell. Once your butter is as well combined as it's gonna get, frankly, we're gonna start adding tablespoons of cold water, ice cold water. This is pretty cold. Whoa, water, you're so cool. Hey, work with me, work with me. 
We're gonna start with two to three tablespoons. We may need to add up to five. We're just looking for a dough consistency. It should be moist enough to form into a ball, but not too sticky to knead. I'll give you something too sticky to knead. <laughs> What does that mean? Now it's just getting silly. See what happens when you're out of school too long? You start getting way too silly. That's not okay. I think you're supposed to combine this one tablespoon at a time, but we bad. I need you. Stop being full of berries. Mm, that berry compote's good. It's very, very good. Okay, no more fucking around. Oh, okay, I totally definitely did add the flour wrong. Do it with the spoon next time, you know? Just do it the right way. I always add too much flour scooping out with the cup. It's not the way to do it. So I added five tablespoons of water and it's still way too dry. Ooh, maybe if I squish it with my hand. Why are we using a spoon? It's so inefficient. It's still too dry. Okay, I think I got it to a good consistency, maybe. I added about seven tablespoons of ice cold water. It might be good, but I don't know. What is my life? Back to school we go. Okay, get out of here. You're bothering me. We're gonna take our dough and we are going to, what? Turn onto a floured surface, shape into a disc. Flowered surface. There. Flowered surface did it. Doing a good job. Doing a good job. We're gonna shape our flower, I mean our dough, into a disc. Then we're gonna take a rolling pin and roll it into a rectangle shape. Am I gonna get it into a rectangle shape? Highly doubtful. But I'm gonna roll it and that's as good as you're gonna get. How thin do we make this? Okay, that looks good enough. Now what we're gonna do is cut this into 12 equal squares, not rectangles, like those gross store-bought Pop-Tarts, squares. Like the kids at school that like do their homework and get good grades, <laughs> squares. They're gonna end up with a six-figure income someday, stupid squares. Okay, how big, how big? How big do we make this? So stressful. I'm trying to do math to get these squares even. Gotta get four rows of three squares going. We do now that I have 12 totally even squares, they're definitely not rectangles, they're definitely squares, we're not gonna talk about it. We're gonna transfer them to our baking sheet. Also, some of them are not way thinner than the other ones. They're all equal, everyone's equal. Just like the world, that's how life is. Everyone's equal in life, no fights, no, no controversy. Everyone's equal, we're all equal. You'll learn that in school. Okay, now we're gonna place about one tablespoon of filling in six of the squares in the center of them, leaving about a quarter inch around the edges for something in the future that I'm gonna talk about later. Just do the tablespoon thing. Okay, then we're gonna use our fingers to dot water lightly around the edges so that we can seal our little squares together. Cute. We're gonna have the best back to school breakfast this ever. None of these squares match. Okay, cool. Very cool. We're gonna make them match. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Some of your squares might leak berries. Whatever. They're great. Everyone's having fun. Once our completely matching squares are on top of the other completely matching squares, we're gonna take a fork and kind of lightly seal the edges. Like you're making a freaking empanada. We are empanada done though. A long ways to go. These look less like pop tarts and more like raviolis. Like fruit raviolis. Ooh, has anyone ever made fruit raviolis? I feel like we should make fruit raviolis. I feel like we are making fruit raviolis. Get out of here. All right, I think those are done. We're just gonna poke a few holes in the top. I'm using a toothpick, because I think my fork tines are too big. I might have made too tiny of Pop-Tarts. I have extra dough. I probably could have made them bigger. I just didn't really know how. If I was more strategic, I could have made them bigger. Oh well, poking some holes. It's kind of fun. It's like getting out little microaggressions. <laughs> The day sucks. I hate my teachers. I have a homework. Boy problem. Then we're gonna rub a little bit of butter over the top of each of them. Then we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of sugar over top. And we're gonna pop them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until they're a light golden brown. I wish I had put them on the tray more evenly. I didn't. I regret my choices, but I've learned. And that's what school does. Makes you regret everything, but you learn. This is just like school. Bye. Cool, see you in a little bit. What? See you in a little bit. That's what that sentence was. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. I feel I think these are done. They smell done. They're not quite like golden brown. Oh, maybe they are. I can't tell. Are these golden brown? Are, are they golden brown? Are you golden brown? Maybe they're not. I don't know. Okay, maybe we put them in for like two more minutes. Get golden brown. Stop making look bad. Okay, now they should be done. Maybe. Yes, 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 please. 
need to clear us nicely. Okay, you're done. While those were becoming Pop-Tarts, I made a glaze for them. You don't have to make a glaze, but like I feel like it looks more like a Pop-Tart if you make a glaze. I tried to make a lavender color to go with the berries and it ended up being this like creepy purple color. But then when I was looking for sprinkles, I found these Halloween sprinkles. Is Halloween trending yet? Cause we're about to make some Halloween Pop-Tarts. Some Halloween back to school Pop-Tarts. We are so on trend. We are ready for fall. I'm gonna let these cool for a little bit and then we're gonna frost them and make magic happen. Hopefully they're tasty. Hopefully, please be tasty. Oh, yes. People at Kellogg better be updating their LinkedIn profiles and looking for a new job cause oh my goodness. <laughs> This is their competition now. Be scared. So here we have some back to school Halloween style. What else is trending? Slime, pop tarts. Let's see if they're tasty. All right, ready? Get over here, taster. What's up? That's all you are. I know. You're the tasty Tuesday man. I'm more. We got some back to school berry pop tarts for you to try. Technically, I'm now the JK News guy too. Okay, that's nice. So not just Tasty Tuesday. Okay, what, what show are you on right now? Well, I'm just moving. I'm just moving that's on. That's nice. Moving forward, you know, that's chasing nice. new opportunities. It's very nice. We're all going back to school right now though, and we're having pop tarts. So okay. what do we got? taste them and see if they're tasty. Can I have the frosting one? Yeah, have whatever one you want. Well, some kids were boring and they didn't have the frosting ones because their parents Ooh. were like, oh, we're healthy. And I'm like, Ugh. what's the caloric difference, dude? Ugh. Like nothing? Yeah, exactly. Did you shoe them to a corner? Yeah, of course. I didn't talk to them ever again. I never hung out with them and I made fun of them forever and I just read the last. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, very interesting, right? Okay, okay. Um, hold on. Yeah, hold on. You got a bite? <laughs> right? I'm pissed up. Okay. Okay. I want to hear your thoughts and then I'll tell you my thoughts. I mean, come yes, to the light. It's fine. Come to the light. It's not a pop tart. Try this one. Okay. Okay, if you're going to make these, roll the dough out thin because this first one I tried was like really thick and it's too much crust. That one's less crust. It's much better. If you're not looking for a pop tart. <laughs> Where you're looking for a bomb ass dessert. This is pretty good. Yeah, it's a good dessert. It, exactly. That's exactly you know what my thoughts. It yeah. doesn't taste like a Pop Tart, uh -uh. but not in a bad way because no. Pop Tarts are honestly way too sweet. These are like a good balance. It actually it tastes like a pie. It's, it's like, like a, a pie. It those, tastes like those a pie. Grocery store pies, yeah, dude. it tastes like a McDonald's pie. It's like those grocery store pies, and then you put it in the microwave. Yeah. Because you're having a, I'm a fat day, you know? <laughs> and that's what this is. It's great. But it's better for you than that. Is it? So. What's in this guy? Well, yeah, it's just like natural fruit, and sugar, and. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like to me, it's all the same thing, man. Yeah. Come on. It makes me crave the same things. Oh. Would you say it's tasty? Yeah, absolutely it's tasty. Absolutely. It's tasty! <laughs> well, hold on, we should check out the ones that are not frosted. No, that one's too thick. It's not gonna oh, taste good. Man. Try I was just trying to eat more. Yep. Yeah, it's good. Not as good as those. Yeah, I agree. Put frosting on your damn pop tarts. Dude, the kids who had the, it's like, what is, <laughs> like, you, what, you, what, you want to deprive them of all joy? They'll find out life sucks later. Let them have frosting on their pop tarts, you know what I'm saying? Agreed. Thank you. All you doing that? Let them find out life sucks when they move out of the house. You don't have to be at home and realize life sucks because their pop tarts don't the frosting on it. Like, well, you know what I do know what you're talking about. Oh. I can't decide if life sucked more when I was in the house or out of the house. You had to pay for more stuff out of the house, but yeah, then, it sucks more, right? But there's way more rules when you're like living with your parents. Then. I will say, I don't like rules. It depends, because I was a, I was I a guy, rules. and my parents had less rules for me than my older sister. Okay, no. Yeah. Because of sexism in the 21st century. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I love you, mom. I'm kidding. All right, great, cool. <laughs> so uh, make these or don't, whatever. <laughs> but have fun. <laughs> Hey, you know what? <laughs> that right there should be your channel trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Have them go back to school though and did all that homework and perfectly, perfectly sums up <laughs> what you do. Make these or not, you know, I whatever. Mean, it's like one of those that like um it's good, but, but I mean like, like don't go out of your way. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> He's like, hey, if you're looking for something to make and you got a lot of time, there you go. I mean, of course, I, I probably, but maybe I, you could probably make a better one than me. Don't <laughs> drive to make these. How about that? If you got to drive and leave your house and drive and go somewhere and like get out of your car and go buy something, yeah, maybe don't make these. But if you have the stuff already, you can make them. Make it. You, if you want. All right, well, subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.